Number 24. Complete and balance the following oxidation reduction reactions, which give the highest possible oxidation state for the oxidized atoms. And then we have letter A. So we need to mix potassium metal, which is in its solid form, with water, which is in a liquid form. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write this bigger, and maybe I'll write it, uh, I guess I'll write it over here. Let's see how, how this goes. So K, solid plus H2O, whoop, H2O, and that's a liquid. And now we need to make our products. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this H2O because when I'm trying to make my new compounds, I don't like to write it as H2O. This could be a little deceiving. I know that in order to make water, it had to come from an acid and a base, right? An acid plus a base had to give me water, right? That's our acid-base reactions. Now, the acid component of making water is always H+. Plus. The base component of making water is always OH-, minus, right? You need a hydronium ion, which is H+, plus, or H3O+, plus, and you need a hydroxide, OH-. Minus. So I'm just going to quickly rewrite this on the bottom. H2O was really made by one H plus ion and one OH minus. So basically I'm writing it as HOH, which gets rewritten re, uh, as H2O. But this is going to help us today. Okay. Now, what type of reaction is this? Can't hear you. <laughs> but if you said a single replacement, you are absolutely correct. This is a single replacement, meaning I have one, and hold on, replacement. There you go. I have one lonely atom who's chilling by itself. In this case, it's potassium. And, he, and this atom sees that hydrogen and oxygen are having a good time. They're reacting with each other. They're making water. Potassium is getting a little jelly. He's getting a little jealous. He or she or they, right? Um, potassium wants to break up the fun. And when it does that, potassium is wanting to either hook up with uh, H+, plus, or it's going to want to hook up with OH-. minus right? But w which one is it, right? Well, that comes from us knowing the trends on our oxidation states. Right now, potassium, since it's by itself, remember any atom by itself, unless stated otherwise, is always a zero charge. But now we know that if it makes a compound, and these charges are only for single atoms that are making a compound, potassium, when it's in a compound, would want to be a plus one charge. So potassium is going to go from a zero to a plus one. And oxidation, remember Leo, the lion says Ger, Leo, L-E-O, oxidation is a loss of electrons. L-E-O, Leo. Loss of electrons, a.k.a. oxidation. And what it's going to look like is it's, it's going to look like you're becoming more positive. If you're losing um, negatives, you're going to look like you're just becoming more positive. And that's what potassium is going to do. It's starting with a zero, and it's going to be going to a plus one. So potassium is the one that's being oxidized in this case. Now... Is it the highest possible oxidation state? Yes. Potassium only wants to be a plus one, right? It wants to be a noble gas when it forms a compound, and if it loses one electron, it goes from 19 to 18, argon. So since we know that potassium is going to be a plus charge, who is it going to kick out? It's going to kick out the other positive, right? If potassium is the positive one, you know, potassium's like, ugh, I'm going to be the only one that's positive. I'm going to kick out hydrogen. So I'm going to hook up with 
the hydroxide. And that's the compound that's formed on the products. That's at least one of them, right? So potassium, now being a plus one because it's forming with the compound or forming with another atom to make a compound, is coming in with OH minus one. And it's a one-to-one, -one, right? So this tells me that I need one hydroxide for every one potassium. So my compound would be KOH. Now, what happened here? The potassium hooked up with the hydroxide, so who is now the loner? Hydrogen. Hydrogen is now the one that's just chilling by itself. However, you have to remember, does hydrogen exist by itself like potassium did, or is hydrogen a diatomic? Hydrogen's a diatomic. So when hydrogen exists by itself, it will always be in its diatomic state. So it won't exist as just an H, it will exist by H2. Diatomic, di in chem means two, atomic atoms. So you have two atoms of the same, two hydrogens. And now we just gotta add states, right? We need to add states and we need to um, balance, right? So KOH, this should look familiar, right? KOH is a strong base. So we made a strong base here. And remember, strong bases always dissociate 100%. There's only six of them. So just memorize your six strong bases. If you see a strong base, it is always going to be aqueous. It never exists as a solid, liquid, or gas. It's always aqueous. It's always broken down in the solvent, which is water. H2, its natural state is a gas. This is memorization. Memorizing your diatomics and memorizing your um, states of the diatomics. So hydrogen gas, H2 is always a gas. Now let's balance, right? I made a equation. Now I just got to make sure I balanced it. Let's see. I got one potassium on the left side. I got one potassium, so that checks out. I have two hydrogens on my left side. I have one plus two. Ooh, so that's three. Okay, so that's not balanced. And I have one oxygen here and one oxygen here. Okay, so that's balanced. So it looks like the uh, hydrogens are not balanced. But it seems as if I have two hydrogens on my left side, and I have one plus two, so I have a total of three, right? Uh, two and three, I can't really do much with that. So this is where we're just going to kind of guess and check, right? This number is lower. The two is less than the total of three on the uh, product side. So I'm going to just take a guess here, right? And that's all that balancing is, right? We make an educated guess and see if it's the right number. I'm going to put a, let's see, instead of a one being here, I'm gonna put a two here. Now, let's see, I have four total hydrogens, but I still have three hydrogens on my product side. So, uh, still not balanced. But let's see, maybe something else opened up for us. I now have two oxygens on my reactant side, on the left side, but I only have one oxygen on my product side. So now I have to change this number. Let's try to match the oxygens, because that's easier. What number would I have to put here? I would have to put a two, right? Two oxygens, two oxygens. Now let's see, what else did I disrupt now? Oh, now I have two potassiums, but I only got what here? I only got one. So what number am I gonna put in front of the potassium? A two. And now let's circle back to hydrogen. I had four hydrogens on my left side, but now I have two plus two is four. So sometimes, Making an educated guess and then working on other elements will actually balance the hard one out. So when in doubt, don't think that you're doing it wrong. 
Just work with easier elements. Make educated guesses and then just work with the easier elements and probably the harder one will balance it out by itself. Yeah? So that's the end of the game. We completed this reaction. We balanced it. We put the states. We are done, guys. This was fun. What do you think? I hope this helped. And if it did, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, that would be totally cool. And if not, that's fine. We'll still help you guys out. All right. Thank you so much uh, for viewing the video. And I hope you guys have a great day. All right. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye-bye.